Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com and today we're going to be taking a look at utilizing light beams or windows in order to make images look more interesting. Let's take a look at an example. So this image originally did not look this way, so I'll select all these nodes and hit Command and D in order to show you the image before these nodes. So this is the original image and this is the image after adding like an artificial beam of light. Speaking of Resolve, if you're a beginner and you're interested in learning how to use Resolve, you'll love our free crash course that will teach you the basics of every tab in Resolve. Simply go to filmsimplified.com and sign up for free. So let's take a look at the original image. Note that the image has a window. Now, having a window in your scene uh, can be used, you know, to add an artificial uh, beam of light that will eventually make the image more interesting. And this is not a super complicated effect, so let's uh, recreate it. So I will just add a new color version here and I'll just remove all these nodes. Now, let's add a new node and I'll simply go to Windows and I will add a window on top of the window. I don't know if this pun was intended, but let's simply position this window exactly to, um, to replicate a beam of light. So I'll just move this here, move this here. So if there was a beam of light, it will usually come in this direction. And let's feather this end really far. Now, we will discuss why in a bit did I stop this uh, edge here at this point, but let's just make it even larger. Let's make the softness larger here on this side. And I will not be uh, controlling these uh, other points a lot in order to explain something. So let's just move this node here. And now we simply added a window. Now we're going to add an outside node. An outside node is simply a node that controls everything that is not being controlled in the node right before it. This node has this window, which simply means that if I change anything in this node, I'm changing everything inside the window. I'll reset. And even though we can invert this behavior, so we make the node control everything outside the window, but adding an outside node will provide us with some extra functionalities where we can control both the area in and out the window, which will come in handy. So now while this node is being selected, I'll simply go to color nodes and simply click on add an outside node and now this node will control the rest of the image. Note that if I change anything in this node it's affecting the areas outside the window. So now we simply added a window on top of the window to represent a, a, beam, a, light, a beam light, a, a light beam to represent a light beam. So the thing here is that we need to make the area outside the light beam, of course, uh, darker. So let's try to do that. I'll simply go to offset and bring offset down. Now notice that the beam of light doesn't look very natural at the moment. So let's just go back to it and increase the feathering from all sides, make it a bit more like smaller, maybe let's increase feathering even more. And now we have a nice beam of light. Let's select this node and it's starting to look natural. So now here's the deal. The human eye works in a certain way when it comes to dark uh, objects or darker areas. Basically, uh, if we look at a darker object, it will look less saturated. So here, when we bring the offset down, we're bringing the offset down, but the dark areas still have a lot of saturation, which means they will not look natural. So let's bring saturation down, and this looks slightly better, but it still doesn't look very natural. Let's reset. Usually this doesn't work all the time, but usually this is a technique that you might want to use in order to darken the areas outside the window. What you can do is to simply increase contrast, reduce saturation, and bring the offset down. Because these changes uh, mimic how we see dark, how the human eye perceives dark objects uh, or objects in the dark, where basically it looks a bit more contrasty uh, uh, less saturated and with much lower, uh, of course, uh, brightness. So for the most part, this will look uh, the most natural, except in certain cases where the area is really bright, this might not work. But for most cases, this should produce the most natural uh, effect. So let's reset. I'll just increase contrast, bring saturation down and bring offset down and notice how much more natural the dark areas look. So take a look at the image before these two nodes. So I'll select these two nodes before, after. 
before, after. And notice that now we still have this node that just created the beam, but we did not add any effects here. So for example, I can increase the gain just a little bit here in order to make it a bit brighter. And that's why uh, we added an outside node. So now we have two nodes where each node controls a different part of the image. Finally, I will add one more node and add a bit of contrast or color to the end, you know, to bring the whole thing together. So I'll add a new node. So again, color, nodes, add a serial node. And now in the new node, I will just add a bit of contrast, bring the offset down a bit and maybe uh, increase the blue channel a bit. Yeah. And take a look at the image before these three nodes and after. And the nice thing here is that you can actually track the window to the window. So the power window to the actual window. For example, let's come to this point here. So I'll be before the movement and I will uh, uncheck rotate 3D or zoom. So I just want to track tilt and pan in this case backward. And notice that now the window is actually moving with her. Now let's go back to the point where I added this end of the window. I did not drag it all the way here because this will look a bit, at least for this image, this will look a bit less natural. Let's take a look here because she should be blocking some of the light next to her. So basically the light on this part should be a little bit less than this part because she should be blocking some of the light. So that's why I moved this window to this point here. So notice this part here. Keep your eye on this part of the couch. Notice that if I drag this here, this is bright and this can actually work, but I don't think it looks very natural. And if we move this here, notice that now her body is blocking some some of the light from falling on the couch, providing us with a much more natural look. So again, before and after. I hope you found this helpful. If you found it helpful, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join uh, our free DaVinci Resolve Crash Course that is designed for the absolute beginners and will take you through every tab in Resolve. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com